A Twin Cities teenager who died in a climbing accident in Colorado is being remembered for his adventurous spirit. 17-year-old Carter Christensen lived in Maple Grove. Recent high school graduate had just posted this selfie on Instagram one hour before falling to his death. Investigators say Christensen was climbing without ropes at the time of an accident in a park outside Boulder on Sunday night. As WCCS Jennifer Mayerly reports his sudden death cut short a dream of joining an elite military team. Carter Christensen graduated from Maple Grove Senior High School two months ago. The Boulder County Sheriff's Office said the 17-year-old was climbing alone without gear Sunday night when he fell 100 feet or more. He reportedly suffered massive traumatic injuries. Carter used to live in Longmont, Colorado, not far from where he was climbing near Boulder. In a statement, Carter's family said, Carter was a lover of the outdoors and an adventurous spirit and was experiencing joy in summiting the first flat iron in Chautauqua Park. He graduated high school in June 2017 with aspirations of becoming a Navy SEAL. Carter came to Colorado to be outdoors in a place that he loves. He wanted to spend some time with friends in Longmont while he trained for his Navy SEAL enrollment. Carter will be loved and missed by all of his family and friends. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Carter's older brother Hayden contacted us late last night. He said his brother was fearless in every aspect of life and he was the bravest person he has ever known. A Twin Cities woman is accused of strangling her aunt during a fight over painkillers. Prosecutors charged 40-year-old Davina Sultantich with murdering her aunt Mary last month. Someone found the 60-year-old's body inside her apartment in West St. Paul. Police say they had been there earlier for an argument between the two. Sultantich had moved in to help care for her aunt after knee surgery. Investigators say she admitted to strangling her aunt with her hands after the aunt threatened to expose Sultan, Sultan Titch and illegally bought Vicodin. Twin Cities man who tried to kill his ex-wife at work is going to spend the next 20 years in prison. Prosecutors say John Sturer asked his ex-wife if she had any last words moments before he shot her in North St. Paul. She did survive. Officers later caught up to him in a Coon Rapids park where he shot himself in the head after a standoff with police. This couple had divorced after 23 years of marriage. Turner told police he was angry that his ex-wife started seeing another man. The FBI raided the home of President Donald Trump's former campaign manager as part of the election investigation. Agents served a search warrant at one of Paul Manafort's homes. In Virginia last month, the New York Times reports the FBI seized tax documents and foreign banking records. Manafort is one of the Trump campaign officials who met with Russians claiming to have dirt on Hillary Clinton last summer. The FBI is also looking at his work in the Ukraine. Manafort denies any wrongdoing. North Korea is threatening to press forward with a missile strike near the U.S. territory of Guam. A general said the military plans for rockets to hit the waters off the island near American bases. Word of the potential strike follows President Trump's warning that threats would be met with fire and fury. The North Koreans called that a load of nonsense.